All right, how's everybody doing? It's been forever since I've done a live stream on my channel. I am Chris, aka Dopamine Overload. This is Stacy. Hello. And we are in uh, Walkabout Mini Golf. Yes. And we are going to try this new course. What are we doing? Which one? Which one do you want to do? I've got a couple new ones that we haven't played yet. I have um, Widow's Walkabout. That one looks kind of like spooky, scary, like a like a scary house, castle kind of thing. I have Alfheim, which looks like an elfin world. And then I have Meow Wolf. And then I have Around the World in 80 Days. I think Meow Wolf is the winner. All right. I now, don't know. What is that in reference to? I know it's a thing. I have no idea. They changed their logo. Mighty Coconut. Oh, that's probably getting ready for Around the World in 80 Days. You haven't purchased this course. Guest Pass. Hold on. Uh, let me make sure my mic is working. Hang on, by the way. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hey. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, one controller. You said, but I'm sure it's fine. You didn't hear anything I said? Nope. While the, now, while the now you can. game was loading, I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Wow, this is pretty freaky looking. So what is Meow Wolf? I don't know. It's a thing. Like, it's something. And we just don't know. But it's I don't a know. thing, I think. I don't know what the hell it is. Alright, so check this out. I want to bring up this this little poster graphic uh, real quick. Which movie do you want to talk about? The the, the, the gaming one or the, or the Los Angeles one? Start with the gaming one. Okay, let's talk about the gaming one first. All right, check this out, people. Anyone who's watching, hopefully you're checking this out. And if not, we're still going to talk about shit that we love and or go nuts about because it's fun. This, uh, I'm trying to remember which one is which. Okay, let me pull up this little poster graphic. All right, hang on one sec. Oh, I almost got a hole in one. Nice. All right, hold on one sec. Hold on. Let me... Let me figure out why this is bugging out here. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So this little poster graphic right here. We were watching Brain Scan from 1994. And I just want to just keep that up for a little bit as we introduce this movie. So I've seen this movie a million times. I saw it in the theater um, with high school friends long, 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 long time ago, ages ago. But I'm not dating myself. Um, so basically it's really good. I like it. It became a cult classic a few years after it was released. So you tell me what you thought of it. I had never seen it before. I never heard of it. Um, but I thought it was pretty, it was better than I expected it to be. It was, uh, I don't know. It was cool. It had like a, kind of a neat, almost, I don't know, Twin Peaksy vibe. At moments. Yes, especially the like, score. Were, yes, the music and just the weirdness factor. And the fact that they basically invented Siri in this game. True. Or no, no, well, not really game, movie. It's weird because it's a movie and it's a game. It's fucking weird. Yes, I agree. Um, there's a lot of stuff I think that was ahead of its time. And the reason why I wanted yeah. to talk about it on this live stream is because VR, I mean like literally brain scan without spo like trying to spoil any of the movie for those who haven't seen it. It's very, very 30 years before VR, like where we're at with virtual reality, right? Like literally yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty wild. So they were way ahead of their time with the story. It's a really underrated film. And another reason I wanted to bring this up is cause it's on Tubi right now. So you could use the Tubi app or Tubi.tv, uh, you can watch it for free, and it's totally worth watching, but yeah, I mean, Siri was basically invented more or less with brain scan and, and just virtual reality, just, just kind of like the vibe of what they were imagining 30 years ago is sort of yeah. where we're at today. Yeah, because most movies back then, when they talked about virtual reality, it was very like Tron or like just very cartoonish or like Max Hedrum, like it just all looked almost like Walkabout Minigolf, you know, it just seemed all like not real, but this was like 
Like I was saying, it was like Walking Dead Saints and Sinners level real. Yes. Because it was so real. You it know? was it so wasn't real. Like, like computery virtual what, what they thought virtual reality would be in the future which they thought would be like really computerized robot -y. it was like no virtual reality is going to be like fucking reality yeah exactly it's going to be terrifying <laughs> i mean <laughs> i mean ag is. again the very first thing that you and i played in vr <laughs> nice was um walking dead saints and sinners on quest 2 yes. like before we even got into steam and anything else and uh hey this is kind of an easy course so far i like this oh, so do soon yeah exactly so so what the fuck uh, are we supposed to do there's a thousand flags i don't know so well that's a weird sound anyway so yeah brain scan is a pretty underrated movie it's it's a it holds up it holds up I remember the director, I was reading an interview with the director and he, I'm going to try the other side. Um, I think his name is Andrew something or other. He, Whoa. no Whoa. way, no Whoa. way, no way. All right. Not bad. So, so Andrew, uh, he had like a three syllable or three part name. He was saying that Edward Furlong was really tough to direct at the time. And, you know, it kind of makes sense. He's, you know, he's a good actor oh, really? off and on. You know, um, I wouldn't he, say he's... He kind of... He overdoes it sometimes with his emotion. Like, he's yes. a little over the top sometimes. Especially in brain scan. What the hell did you do? Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Anyway, so, so he was saying that Edward Furlong was just kind of difficult, and I think he was into drugs pretty heavily, you know, after he did Terminator 2. So, yeah. That's a bummer. You know, we should make this like a regular thing of playing mini golf and doing almost like a podcast style stuff, like where we, where we watch like a bunch of like retro shows and movies, and then we, we could do the mini, the walkabout mini golf like podcast stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, let's do it. A uh, decent shot. Decent shot. Mm. Oh, weird. Yeah, this, this really is weird. this is very psychedelic. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I think that would be kind of fun because I like talking about this retro shit. Um, you know, and introducing stuff that people might not have uh, talked about or or seen, you know, for years. Like I said, brain scans kind of a very underrated sci-fi horror film and uh you know again without spoiling anything because I, I i never like to spoil films it's just it's a good story it's it's definitely virtual reality inspired and siri you know in my opinion was invented you know i mean just like you said was invented probably by that movie certainly yeah the concept of it he's like you know Instead of saying "Hey Siri," he says like "Hey Igor" or whatever. Right, Igor is like the 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 Siri of its time. Um, it's good. It's it's a good movie. The 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 soundtrack kicks ass. It's one of the very few soundtrack CDs that I actually bought. I oh, I've you did. I did. I bought the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. It's got all this like '90s like really underrated industrial and alternative stuff like Tad. Shit, I got robbed on that. Um, the the band Tad from Seattle is in it, and Pitch Shifter from Germany, and Old Lady Drivers like OLD. Uh, that was my introduction to their music. Really good soundtrack in general. Um, I forgot what else. You're still up. Oh, still I, that, up. that's right, because you didn't get it. So, I never really liked to buy soundtrack CDs back in the day because they were like $17.99 for a CD and you never knew what you were going to get because you couldn't listen to any of the fucking songs and you know most of the time the, the best song in the in the movie wasn't even on the goddamn soundtrack but in the case of Brain Scan everything that was in the movie um, is on the soundtrack so that's one of the very few things <laughs> that I bought. Um, and we were watching uh, another movie before. We were watching Clueless, which is another kick-ass soundtrack. 
Ah, oh, son of a bitch, that was close. Clueless also has a phenomenal soundtrack. Yeah. The only thing that I wish was on there was the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones song. <laughs> so, this is a tough one. I I wish that the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones song Someday I Suppose was on the soundtrack, but it's only Where Did You Go? But anyway, mm. those two movies, Clueless and Brain Scan, coincidentally a year apart, have great soundtracks and they're just fantastic movies. So I actually I, I'm in the VR Fuck me, man. <laughs> I'm in the VR zone of like I almost felt like I was gonna fall off this fucking lily pad. <laughs> you know, because sometimes the game is that good and you really creepy. don't know what oh. to expect. Wait, this is gonna be a fun. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. This, this is gonna be a stroke limit hole. Yes. So, brain scan. Yeah, good movie. Edward Furlong. Uh, this guy. I don't know, man. T. Ryder Smith as as uh, another character, very important. I'm not gonna say what he plays, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know we don't. This is this is not the whole for us. So so brain scan. I literally feel like I don't want to move because I feel like I'm gonna fall to my death. <laughs> oh fuck this hole! <sighs> Still a good game. Um, That's what so she said. There you go. <laughs> fuck this hole. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Anyway, I know nobody ever <laughs> watches these live streams, but they're fun to make. Yeah. But I, I think it'd be fun to just like watch a bunch of weird ass '90s. They're usually not this bad. Well, this is a really fucking tough hole. It's just there's too much bouncing. I don't know how the well, fuck to yeah, get this. Well, yeah, I think we're supposed to go around. We're supposed to go down the steps here. Really? Where I'm well, standing. I think that's what we were supposed to do. Oh no way! No way! That was a total like fuck. I, I don't give a shit where this ball goes, and it actually stayed in the border of one of the lily pads. Yes. See, that's right. what we should have been doing from the beginning, but we okay. were like, no, I'll just skip to the end. That's all right. That's why you don't do that with mini golf. No. So anyway, so that's one movie, Brain Scan. There you go. All right. Nice. Look at this. Holy shit. It's what? Stroke limit. That sucks, though, but you are literally there. You are literally there. Stroke limit reached, it just said. Shit. Right, well, now we know how to play this hole. Like, we, All right. we were doing it wrong. Okay. That sucks. That was a good shot, though. That was yeah. a really good shot. You, like, nailed it. <sighs> and stroke limit reached. Okay. So that's one movie. So Brain Scan. Definitely check that out. It's good. It's The, the score is fantastic. And I also got to give it some love with the CGI stuff. For its yeah, time. Yeah, it was pretty decent. Yeah, for its time, the there was some really, really good CGI in that movie. And I, 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 like I said, I've seen this movie like 500 times. You you only saw it for the first time tonight. But I, I love it. It's good. Weird. Mm. The fuck? I don't know what that's about. So, we'll get done with this hole. And then, what the fuck? Oh. Ooh. Woo. All right. All right. That was fun. So, <laughs> man, this is weird. So we'll Aww. get done with this hole, and then we'll talk about the other movie, uh, which we'll, we won't mention yet, but we'll mention that when we get to the second hole. <laughs> nice. Well, this one was a lot easier than the other one. <laughs> Absolutely was. This was interesting with the, oh, damn it, it's got like these weird, yes, I got it. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so next hole, let me pull up the graphic just to make this a little more visually stimulating. All right, so we watched... Hopefully you can still hear my mic and stuff. So Man, it's we, telling me that my headset is low. It can't oh. be. You got the short cord for your battery connector? I'm looking for it right now. Luckily, it's not like we're playing Walking Dead and we don't have a walker coming up to us to eat us. You know, it's just mini golf. So if you got, just take your headset off and see if you can figure this out. So the, while she's All doing right, that, there, I'll be right back. no problem. While she's doing that, I wanted to pull up the graphic for the other movie that we watched. 
but I'll wait till she gets back. This is a cool course. This is definitely uh, one of the cooler courses. Also, it is four in the fucking morning because uh, it took us like an hour to get going with this. We we're on like different versions of Walkabout Mini Golf. I was on version 4.6. She was on version 4.7, so we couldn't find the private room that we were trying to, uh, you know, meet in, which we call Derpy Land, D E R P Y L A N D. And uh, so we had to, you know, basically wait to update. Uh, my version was like six gigs, hers was like four. But anyway, this is still the greatest game ever, and as the quest grows tremendously in popularity, um, this game is also growing in popularity, and we just got uh, word that Mighty Coconut has merch for this game now, which is really dope. Um, if they have any shirts that even say Walkabout Mini Golf, Despite all my ongoing financial woes, I would totally drop 20 bucks to get a fucking shirt that says Walkabout Mini Golf because the enjoyment this game brings cannot be understated. I mean, it is a tremendously large source of joy, um, just for the record. And I think anyone who is, you know, familiar with this game and or watching this live stream again if there's seven to ten of you or less uh thanks for taking the time to hang out with us um <laughs> i don't know man live streams definitely don't get any views at all we might eventually move this over to twitch or kick i don't know i mean time permitting life is just chaotic utterly chaotic right now and it has been all through 2023 but here we are right, it's it's nice okay hello you're back so I was just kind of giving everyone a, you know, just talking a little bit about Walkabout Mini Golf and the new merch that they have, which we haven't checked out. And we were talking about... Oh, you're going to because I need it. There you go. And I'm definitely going to get a shirt that says Walkabout Mini Golf on it just because the tremendous joy that this game brings. Um, yes. I would love to do that. So, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? So, yes. Let's now talk about... I got to take my headset, pop it up on my head a little bit. This is the second movie we watched. Uh, hold on, I gotta make sure that the source is good, uh, right here. Okay, so this is the second one. This is called Lisa, from 1990. Okay. <laughs> so this movie was interesting. It's actually playing on the iPad <laughs> over there. Like, you know, it's like half over. Um, Lisa is fucking weird. I mean, I hate, I wanted to hate this movie in the first, like, 45 to, uh, you know, 60 minutes of it because it was yeah, really bad. I think bad. we thought we were we thought we were hate watching it and then like about three quarters of the way through we're like wait a minute do we like this movie? <laughs> yeah it started getting really good in the last like I don't know 20 minutes maybe so it's yeah. it's it's kind of a slow burn it's really kind of poorly poorly directed, directed. Uh, yeah th there's like continuity stuff that I, I couldn't even follow I'm like who's this woman who's this character what's going on you know Anyway, so Lisa... All right, I know it's my turn, so I'm trying not to waste too much time here. Um, okay, there we go, up the hill here. All right, there we go. Let's see what we got. So Lisa was... Like I said, it was slow. But it, 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 it really got good in maybe the last 20 to 30 minutes, maybe. I have no idea where this ball is going, but... I it's hear right next to water mine. splashing... You did good. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, it's weird. Okay. All right. Well, that's why you pulled the trigger. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Right in. Eagle. That's Nice. You can get it, too. Just hit it right in. Yeah, probably not, but we'll see. So this movie, Lisa... Get in there! Get in there! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. So, so this movie, Lisa stars Stacy Keenan who anyone that has seen 80s stuff she was in this sitcom way back in the day called My Two Dads with Paul Reiser before he was on Mad About You ironically and, not two gay men right it, it wasn't about two gay men it was about <laughs> you know two father or two friends who two straight guys two straight guys dated the same woman right and she and never she really had a baby 
and and she died, and and, and I think that's what happened. Who the father was. And didn't tell yeah. anybody who the father was. So they're like, well, it's either Paul Reiser or this other actor, Greg Evigan, I think is what his name was. Um, so Stacy Keenan was the was the girl. She was like the daughter. And oh, are you up? I think you're up. Is it me? Yeah, it's me. Okay, so so Lisa, like I said, it's a movie from 1990. And she plays, again, she was on My Two Dads. And then she was on Step by Step in the 90s. That really oh, awful... damn it. Kind of... Bra- what the fuck? That really awful Brady Bunch style show. It was like a 90s kind of revisit of uh, the Brady Bunch. And um, I have no idea which one it's supposed to go in. Any of them? All of them? I don't either. Oh, that, I, I'll oh, take that. that. Good. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that was good. It'd be cool if these. It'd be cool if these holes changed. Like what? What job was what? You know oh, what I mean? Like 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 the might. portal. Like they don't have a consistent. You know, like like where it teleports to. Oh shit. Oh, oh good. Okay. All right, that works. All right. It's a pretty cool course. So, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm getting all ADHD about the course. Not the course, the movie that we're talking about. So anyway, so she was in my two dads. And step by step, and then she was in this movie in 1990 called Lisa. Now Lisa and her friend, they play detective. I'm not going to spoil anything, but they like to fuck around. They got a crush on George Michael. They got a crush on Tom Petty, which we both thought was a little bizarre, because at the time, <laughs> Tom Petty was like I don't know, maybe like 45, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so these two 14, not exactly a 15 year old throb. girls, right? Exactly. George Michael, we could understand in 1990, he was definitely a heartthrob, but but the one girl had a crush on Tom Petty, and we just, we just thought that was a little strange. Um, as much as I love Tom but Petty, again, thinking about it now, she did sort of have because she didn't have a dad, she had like daddy issues. So right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right, because the dad was either. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy's freaky. I didn't see the ball come out. All right. Anyway, so so okay. So Lisa and her friend, I don't even remember what the friend's name was. I think her her character name was probably mildly irrelevant. I mean her her character overall, I think. What? Oh. I don't know. Did, what happened. I don't Whoa. either. Whoa. Whoa, where am I? Oh, we're in the wow. mouth. Creepy. Okay. All right. This is up. creepy as fuck. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ, I, I'm getting nightmares. <laughs> Woo! Got it in. All right, there we go. Nice. That yeah, is what's freaky down here. That's what she said. Um, yeah. So Lisa. So right. Did you also feel that the friend, without spoiling any anything in the movie, did you feel that the friend was largely irrelevant? No, I like the, the story. Friend. All right. No. I just thought she was kind of pointless because whatever. No, I thought she was cool. All right. So anyway, so Lisa and her friend like to play detective, and they like to just kind of have fun and do, you know, right. teenage. They like to make prank phone calls and do right. little girl pranky things. Yeah, little girl pranky things like take pictures with rich people pulling out of parking garages and, uh, you know, take Polaroids and, you know, just kind of make prank calls and go, hi, it's it's that girl you ran into at the grocery store. Do you remember my name? And then the guy's like, uh, you know, like on the other end, it's like, I don't know. So yeah. apparently they, they get this guy's phone number again, not spoiling anything, um, even though Lisa could probably be spoiled a little better than brain scan because brain scan you know you don't want to spoil anything but lisa it's kind of predictable sort of yeah but oh do i go because okay well that's pretty that's pretty how that's animated this is really nice wow man they they keep like like up in their ante on these courses and the graphics i know every course is like more amazing than the last yeah good job mighty coconut so again you know since day one on this game so anyway so lisa and and her friend they do the teenage girl prank thing and you know they just love to fuck with guys and just kind of do immature stuff so as you can expect um prank the wrong guy 
They pranked the wrong guy. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so, I, I just like I said, I I thought the opening credits were atrocious and over the top and. I don't know. I, I I was trying to find the word that I was explaining this to you before. It was overly sentimental, overly uh, cheesy. I don't know. I don't know what big vocabulary word I was looking for, but I don't know. <laughs> it was it was so. I hated the opening credits, and I remember seeing this movie years ago, and I I I, I don't know. I I just forgot about it. I didn't have an opinion. But watching it again, I was like, all right. It was, yeah, like I said, it was slow and we were hate watching it at first. We were just kind of like, what the fuck is going on with this shit movie? And then, and then in the last like 20 (laughs) minutes, it definitely upped the ante. And I also want to say it it had some scenes that were a little violent for 1990. Oh yeah. Like, like, like. I'm not going to spoil anything again. We can't spoil. but We can't yeah. spoil anything. But if you want to check out that movie, Lisa, again, check it and out. it takes you by surprise because the movie isn't violent at all. Right. I mean, there's not a couple much. violent things that happen, but they don't show it on screen. Right. You know, it's one of those where it's like, oh, something happened. Uh-oh. And then you see the next scene, like the aftermath. You don't see the actual event. Well, in so, this case of this movie, there wasn't a lot of aftermath. It was just kind of like weird scene. And then all of a sudden, two girls partying and listening to Tom Petty and George Michael. I don't know. It's just very, the continuity yeah, the was, was, was bad, very, it was, <laughs> especially it in the was first hour. Dis- it was a little disjointed. Yes. But yeah, but, no, you're, you're right. It picks up. Yeah. So it, it was, fast. it was just a little shocking when you do finally see the violence because you weren't really expecting it because the whole tone of the movie, there was no violence. But anyway, the one thing that I did like about the movie that I noticed and said to you right away mm-hmm. is that I could tell that a woman was writing this dialogue. Right. Oh, God. The dialogue so often, was atrocious. It was not. Oh, <laughs> you know? I, th- I thought it was. I liked it. No, I did not think the dialogue was bad at all. I mean, I thought the guy, his dialogue was pretty stupid. But between the mother and the daughter and between the daughter and her best friend, all of those conversations, oh, yeah. to me, yeah. I thought were really authentic and sounded like what girls talk about and what women talk about and how moms talk to their daughters. All of that, I had to look it up on Wikipedia because, like, there's no way a guy wrote this dialogue. Yeah, no, I could and agree I with that. It, there was, was, it was a woman and a guy. There was believable, yeah, you're right, especially the way that, that the mom was talking to, you know, the, the main character. The daughter, yeah. The daughter, yeah. It was believable. I mean, and of course, it's also it's Cheryl Ladd, who's a great actress. Cheryl and Ladd, I think the, the legendary Stacy. Charlie's she's Angels. She's also a very good actress. She always has been, but yeah, like I said, I don't know why this is not centered. I don't know what the hell's going on, but um, yeah, no, I agree. I no, the dialogue was good. I just thought that some of the acting was over the top. Hi, I'm Richard. The, yeah, the men, the men actors, for some reason, they gave them like really cheesy dialogue. And I don't know. It reminded me of like sleeping with the enemy. Like, you remember the mustache, angry mustache guy? I I will forever call sleeping with the enemy the angry man with a mustache stares at the screen. That's that's my that's my like like given title for sleeping with the enemy. The angry man with the thick mustache stares angrily at the screen. That's literally what sleeping with the enemy is almost the entire fucking movie. And yeah, he was really one dimensional shit. Oh, I lost. I wasted that stroke because the the club bugged out. He was one dimensional. And also, I know you love that shitty montage scene with the Van Morrison song where she's like, you know, putting on all the wigs and the the costumes. Oh, I hate it so much. I can't tell you how much I hate that scene. It's pretty bad. Mr. Theater Director makes it makes it rain and snow <laughs> and and oh, and her wig it. and it's so lovely and everything is magical um, but yeah Sleeping worst. with the Enemy is another bad early 90s movie and uh, let's let's talk about let's shift gears from Lisa and talk about how bad Sleeping with the Enemy is and again oh okay and I'm not knocking on a women woman for writing this but the, the way that the woman wrote the story is so stupid with the choices made by Julia Roberts so in Sleeping with the Enemy. 
And well, it's just like you know what I'm gonna mention. You know what I'm gonna say. Well, Throwing it's either it's, it's either in walking the fucking toilet bowl. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. I thought you were gonna mention something about Walking Dead, <laughs> but no. no. Yeah, see, that's the whole thing. The, again, no spoilers with Sleeping with the Enemy. The movie's been out oh, for over on. thirty. Been, yeah, I know. Everyone's it, everyone's, seen everyone's seen Sleeping with the Enemy. It, throwing the ring in the toilet bowl, flushing it, and not double checking. I mean, you could have just dropped it in the ocean to After make it believable. After getting out of the ocean, who gets right. out of the ocean and then decides to flush a wedding ring? Like, hello. That's what I'm drop saying. Drop it in the ocean. I just felt like no woman would have done that. That was stupid. That's, that's what I'm I saying. I also read that the book was supposedly a lot better than the movie is what I've heard. I haven't read the book. But that's well, that's good. It was heard. That's good. So it was probably a little more nuanced in the book. But in but the movie, I, it was just like, oh, my God. I just hated, I hate his face staring at the, at the fucking camera. Yeah, literally, sleeping with the enemy, a.k.a. the angry man with a thick mustache stares angrily at the camera at the screen <laughs> like that's that's the that's my name for sleeping well, with the enemy there's nothing that irritates me more than a one dimensional villain like you want your villain to be complicated that is and true that guy ha- had no complication to him at all none he, he was, was just one man on a mission i'm an abuser and my goal in life is to kill this woman right it just and she lied to me if i can't have you no one will um, but yeah, he was he was a little too comic villainy. Like, oh, but princess, yeah. princess, if you make a dinner for us, then we can have all the magic in the world. So, princess, make me a dinner, princess, <laughs> and I will give you the world. And we could take a walk on the beach, princess, and we will listen. We will make love by candlelight to the creepiest classical music of all oh, time. Yes. Even I mean, Jennifer Lopez in, in shit. Enough, like even <laughs> it went in and guy, came right back out. I love even that. that guy, Speaking of that, even he, even he was more had more dimension to him. I would and, agree. You know. I, I would totally agree. Like basically, d- dude, that sucked. Oh, that's me again. It went right in the hole and popped right back out. But at least I'm close oh. to the thing now. There we go. I got it. So then, yeah, enough. Like, I love enough. I love enough. I love. I Dude, love wait till you Slim. Get down here. Come okay. look at this board. You're gonna freak out. Oh, that's awesome! Wow, it's just like uh, like a, a virtual reality. Whoa. This is crazy. Oh, and you can go over here. Dude, you can go all the way over here. Whoa! Hi. Wait, how did? Oh, you just teleported over there. I did. Nice. Wow, this is cool. This is dope. Wow, they really they really outdone outdid themselves on this course. So, so let's talk about Enough, which came out in 2000 from what I remember. Okay. Uh that's a great movie. I mean, it, people might knock on Jennifer Lopez's acting, but I thought she was great. The, if anyone overacted in that movie, it was the little girl. The little girl had a little Aww. bit of moments. Yeah, I mean, she just had a little bit of moments Aww, of like She was all right. Did you go already? I oh, did. okay. She, yeah, she was just like, she was just like a little, a little, little over the top, but in a good way. Um, anyway, I love enough. Oh, I love you're Slim. Lagging. Your, your audio is lagging. Okay, that sucks. It's probably downloading something and we don't even know. Are you good? Are we, are we good? Sounds, sounds a little better now, I think. Okay. So anyway, I was mentioning Slim, you know, like Jennifer Lopez's character in Enough. Mm-hmm. Really great movie. Really underrated. It's one of the best empowerment kind of movies. Well, it is in that the sense it's very satisfying to right. watch her, you know, just like be like, I'm not going to take this. I'm going to kick his fucking ass. Right. But it's again, don't spoil anything. <laughs> powering thing to watch on screen is very cool, but I w- but I would not recommend following those steps if you're in that kind of situation. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But as far as a movie goes, that it was very enjoyable to watch. But again, there's there's better choices you can make to get yourself out of a terrible situation like that. I would agree. I would agree. But hey, it's supposed to be entertaining, and it was. And side note, because this is me and my extensive encyclopedic knowledge about movies, it was directed by Michael Apted, from what I remember, who also directed Coal Miner's Daughter with the legendary Sissy Spacek. 
I um, did not know that. Yeah, so 20 years after he I did Coal Miner's did Daughter. I also did not know that when you play this course, you can bounce off these walls here. I, I was trying not to hit them, but... Oh, I bounced off them right a couple off. times. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. And apparently that's they so add cool. points or something. I don't know. Anyway, so oh, enough... Really? Uh, yes. So, uh, anyway, movie... Back to movies, because I love talking movies. So we, so we talked about Brain Scan earlier in the video. We talked about Lisa... Uh, so brain scans from 94 leases from 1990. Um, we talked about sleeping with the enemy from 1991 and we talked about enough from 2000. And were those the only movies that we talked about? I think so. I believe so. Cool. It's a theme, so, a theme we have going. Well, this is, this is fun. Cause I think every time we've done a, a, a live stream with walk about mini golf, we've talked about movies cause it's, it's a cool little podcast style you know instead of just playing golf and not saying anything or just talking shit we can talk talk movies because movies are fun um what other movie did we see recently that was good oh that's me again um so karate kid was on before and you can't go wrong with karate kid no it's always good and, and cobra uh kai. yeah cobra kai is also TV an, show an extremely did I hit the stroke limit? Yeah, that's fine. Cobra Kai is a fantastic show, and there's one more season coming up. I don't know when that's coming, but I can't wait to see that because we're all caught up with Cobra Kai. Yeah, that was very enjoyable, especially to watch. Whoa! Some kid who grew up in the '80s and '90s. I am I am hovering. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Terrifying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shit, so what do I do here? How do we get over this hump? Probably in that white portal hole. All right. So let me check the time because it, it was four. It. Okay, it's four thirty-three oh, in the morning now. Four thirty-three in the morning. Whoa! Check it out. Did yeah, you see, I see. That? I did. It was like a what? gigantic ball. That's so cool. They're this really outdoing course themselves. Is really fun. Ooh, really outdoing themselves with this. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, movies Ooh, are good. So movies are dope. They're a lot of fun. It's definitely lagging a little. That's wild. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> definitely lagging a bit. I hope it, I hope it mellows out. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Gigantic. So anyway, watch those movies. Watch Brain Scan. Watch Lisa. Lisa, like, like again, they're all on Tubi, and that's why we check them out. A free place to watch shows. I love Tubi. Yeah, um, you like to watch old, random, weird movies i do i like to watch just stuff that a lot of people haven't seen because it's fun i don't like I, I don't give a shit about anything marvel from the last 12 years 15 years because i all movies are these days are marvel sequels and prequels and i just no, don't care they're not oh it's no, pretty it's don't. pretty true no, i mean it's not i watch all the new stuff and it's really no movies are way different today than they were 20 years ago there was much more of a variety 20 years ago it's it's shit now it's absolute shit all right, it is. Old man. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It's fucking okay. Barbie is an exception, but everything else is a fucking Marvel movie, more or less. There's lots of good movies. Oh yeah, and and bad, you know, found footage horror films. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Whoa! that's how you fucking do it. How'd you do that? I hit that What'd center you hit ball. That made it do that? The crystal ball oh, in the this, middle. I didn't even think to do that. Cool. There you go. I'll have to do that next time. So yeah, I, I don't know. Brain Scan. I'm glad you enjoyed Brain Scan. I thought it was cool. It's I it's did. just an it's an underrated movie. It's it's quirky and weird. It's quirky, weird, and just definitely ahead of its time. And it's just good. It's just a cool story. It's got characters, you know, that are interesting and like I said, very ahead of its time. Yeah, in terms of the technology, for sure. Good stuff. And Lisa was just kind of a, a, a crap fest. 
in the first uh, <laughs> in the first hour or so until it got interesting. Yeah, but it, it was worth it in the end. It definitely had a good payoff, and like I said, it was extremely violent in places in a good way. I, I didn't expect yeah. to see such immense violence. Oh, and we also got to talk about why Lisa was so fucking weird. What the <laughs> fuck was with the <laughs> Los Angeles? What was what the fuck was with the oh. Los Angeles living situation? What the fuck the in the movie Lisa? In the movie Lisa, 1990. Again, just in case anyone's lost. So, single mom raising daughter. They live in this fucking prison style condo with like yeah. no view. Cement just outside the window. Just, just cement, cement, hole. cement jungle. You know what I mean? And and I don't understand because if it's supposed to take place in Los Angeles, why the fuck is that movie so dreary on the it outside? Did look like any area of Los Angeles that I've ever seen, and I've been there a bunch of times. And it was definitely L.A. because they mentioned Culver City, and Culver yeah. City is definitely you know like a, a obviously from what I understand like a decent part of Los Angeles. I don't know, but but like I said, it anything. Look like that. Anything outside was great, and also the interiors of apartments, in, 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 in the interiors of the workplaces and the and the homes were nice. Well, not all of them, but outside it was like a whole other world. Uh, like 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 outside at night, it was like a concrete jungle prison style view. Like I don't know, just a yeah, very just run no, down neighborhood. Yeah, like a really run down industrial kind of neighborhood. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know how this works. I, <laughs> I just try to get over. There you go. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Shit okay. Is weird. This Shit is, is so. Weird in this world. Yeah, this is a really weird course. So yeah, that just really bothered me about the cinematography of Lisa. It was. It was just weird. It, I, I, I didn't understand it. It made what no sense. Happening? It wasn't... Co- what the Dude, fuck? Now where are we? What the fuck is this? I feel like I'm on acid. Yeah, this is definitely this a... Sh- nuts. This is definitely a, like a psycho... <clears throat> a, a psychedelic... Um, uh, uh, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? Not psychedelic. Definitely a, shroom, a shroomy acid clouds. type of experience. Yeah. This is so weird. Oh, wait, what, we're supposed what, to hit it up there? What do they call the the acid for, like, c- battling depression and stuff? It's called psychosilibin. Is that what it is? What's the word? Psilocybin. Psilocybin. That's, psilocybin. That's right. So I know you they treat know. that. I've never done any of that. Well, you know, I'm, I, I won't say that I've never done that or not or not done that because, again, I'm not going to openly admit shit like this on uh, my, my but channel. But you haven't. Well, so what's to admit? May, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I don't know. I, I mean, you, if I were you, I wouldn't admit uh, 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 yes well, or no I either way. Well, okay. I'm admitting it freely. Okay. All right. And this, this does remind me of that a little bit. So wait, it looks like, see these arrows up in the sky? They're telling me to hit that thing and not these little... It just says, go to the fucking portal. That's what the arrows mean. So I shouldn't hit any of these little flags then? I don't know. Do what you want. <laughs> I have no clue. All right, you're up. Oh, okay. Well, there you ha. go. I got... ha. Okay. Well, I guess I will pick one of these. You know what game I really miss? Okay. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Oh, it's fucking with us. Okay. Talk about being on acid it's or shrooms. Anyway, right, nothing against crazy. nothing against that, but I try not to talk about anything. That could <laughs> that could get myself in trouble um, on a publicly viewed video because I am as you know as professional as I can be. I don't like to talk about anything. So there you go. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean you know I, I'm, I admit nothing. You know, no comment, nothing. But yes, I've never done acid. I've never done shrooms. If we want to talk real. But am I interested in doing shrooms and, and drinking shroom tea? Yes, I am interested in doing that because Ooh, I think that would be... All right, let's do it. I think that would be really, uh, you know, eye-opening. You, you would enjoy it. Oh, I know. I've already talked to many people about it long before 
Ooh. long before I met you. So. This is so weird how it all they all all the little flags move. This is definitely I can't an interesting this thing. Out. I don't I don't either. What are we supposed to I do can't. here? Maybe we should uh maybe we should consult Lisa and see if she could help us. <laughs> maybe. Ma- maybe she she could introduce oh, us to oh. Richard. Maybe she could introduce <laughs> us to Richard and and with Richard's uh Los Angeles connections, he might be able to point us in the right direction. What do you think? I maybe and I'm kidding. Anyway, again, we're 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 semi spoiling the film Lisa. It's good. Uh, you know, the the acting's good. It's got Cheryl Ladd. It's got D. W. Moffat, and it's got Stacy Keenan. And coincidentally, Jeffrey Tambor is that his name? Yeah. He he is that he has a very, very small role. Yes, very very small and useless. Ultimately, this is I don't get. I guess you have to make all of these get to the center inside the fence. I think that's I think it's the objective. I don't fucking know. So keep moving these things until all these flags. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. I was there. trying to hit this swirly thing in the sky. All right. I think I'm trying to fuck with these so they go away. I I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm such a nerd about movies. Oh, apparently I got a bogey. Oh. That makes no sense. Okay. This whole course makes no sense. I, I, I didn't even see the ball go in. I don't know what the hell just happened. Anyway, I'm so ADHD about this shit, but I really do love movies. I got a bogey too. And I could give two shits Why? about... I couldn't tell you. There you go. I, I could give two shits about most Marvel movies. I don't know. I like comics. I like superhero movies, supervillain movies, but I just don't care. It's just, it's too m- big of a universe, and I just, it, I'm not interested. I'd rather see, I'd rather watch Imaginary Heroes, The Shawshank Redemption, 13, Donnie Darko, Good Will Hunting, um, As Good As It Gets, Broadcast News, um, you know, uh, Overboard with yeah, uh, Goldie Hawn. With, with, a, with some character development. And stuff. That's what I'm saying. It's it, I'm all about the character. That's the problem with a lot of a lot of the Marvel stuff. It's just it's boring because it's just there's not a lot of human emotion. Involved. Right. Speaking of human emotion, I, I, I'm sorry. This is my turn. I, I wasn't paying attention. Speaking of human emotion, right? That's another movie that I love that you saw recently that you actually enjoyed. Speaking of getting away from the Marvel thing, Finder's Fee. Oh, yeah. Written well, you're by laughing. Jeff Proops. Right. Who wrote? Who wrote and directed Survivor? But what I like about Finder's we, Fee. Well, Survivor is a. It's not a scripted show. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's I've a, never really it's a seen reality Survivor. Show. It's, a com- it's a reality competition show. He was the well, host. there you go. Okay. So anyway, so Jeff Probst, I've never seen Survivor. Um, what he did is he wrote and directed this movie called Finder's Fee in 2001, which has a, a superb cast. It's with uh, Eric Palladino, who hasn't been in a ton of stuff. He's like the main character. And then his friends are Dash Mihawk from um, Romeo and Juliet. And he was also in this really cool 90s movie um, called Telling You, which I love. Can I just ask, can I interrupt real quick? Where the fuck am I supposed to hit this ball? I don't know. I just hit it to the right. Like, I hit it toward where you're standing because that's this is a starting and point. I just went that way. Now? I don't Where's know where it went. Now? Don't know. But I just went toward you. Where you are now. I your ball over here. Well, we'll find out when it's my turn. So, anyway... Well, if you hit your trigger button, it'll take you to where your ball is. I'm hitting my trigger button. Okay. It isn't really giving me any indicator. I see your ball. Okay. So anyway, back to this movie. So Eric Palladino is the main character, and his friends are Dash Dash Mihawk from Romeo and Juliet, and he's also in this awesome 90s movie called Telling You from 1997. Jennifer Love Hewitt's in that. It's a lesser-known movie of hers, but a really good story. Um, my ball was right where yours uh, was, or is. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this, just to see. I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Okay, I went left, and that was a good place I, at this yellow flag. Anyway, back to movies. 
So, Eric Paladino, Dash Mihawk, Ryan Reynolds, the God, Deadpool himself, and um, Matthew Lillard, who everybody loves. I, I he, he's still one of my favorite actors, and James Earl Jones. So tell everybody about Finder's Feast, Stacy. What'd you think? Yes, that's the right spot. Um, you think? Yes, it is. Cause my ball's right here. It? Don't know, but it, but at least we didn't get stuck back at the beginning. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the plan is here. That's all right. So what'd you think about Finder's Feast, Stacy? Let's talk movies. I liked it. I liked it. It's good. I mean, it wasn't like the best movie I've ever seen, but it's definitely a it little low. A fun little little twist at the end, and yes, it's it's definitely a little low budget. I I thought it was great just because I love Matthew Lillard and he's just so obnoxious and like and like confident. He's just such a he's such a great. He always plays amazing characters in like every movie he's in, from yeah, SLC Punk. He is. From SLC Punk to, uh, you know, to What Love Is is another really good indie film from 2007. I just love all these random things that I find on Tubi. I mean, movies that I've probably seen before, off and on, just like forever. But Tubi always has the coolest movies that not a lot of people have seen. That looks like a better place to be. Why? Where am I headed? What's the goal? Dude, I don't know. I don't even. I don't even know anything. <laughs> this hole is too confusing. That's all right, because I mean, once once we hit. once we reach the stroke limit, I'm totally cool with that. Ah, wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, that was weird. Okay, that thing popped up for a second. I don't under understand. Anyway, so Finder's Feed. That's another movie that we saw. And Tubi, Tubi is so dope. I love Tubi. I want to like look up online what you're supposed to do at this hole. <sighs> I want to go out and get some coffee. Mm. That's what I'd love to do. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this either. This is a very confusing hole. Such a random course. Right? Try to hit that blue guy behind you. What about this? What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. You hit it, it goes away, it pops back up. I, I don't know. I can't figure this, it out. This is what I'm... Hit I, that blue guy. This blue guy right here? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Only well, because I already hit the other two, and I don't know what else. All right. I'm definitely gonna get the stroke limit here. That's okay with me. Oh, hold on. Okay, now look. I, my stroke limit was reached, but now I have this red flag that has an opening. Like, like I don't know if you can see this. Oh, I'm, you I see? see it. Well, now I didn't I'm know. Sure I hit my stroke limit. That's what I'm saying. I didn't yep. know. I didn't know where the fuck. Like, I didn't see any of this pop up or down. Anyway. <sighs> Oh god, I want some coffee. How many holes do we have to fucking do? There's only one more. Oh, this is it? Okay. This is the last hole. Okay. Alright, go ahead, your turn. Anyway, I'm just I a little a little hungry. tired and hungry. Right, a little well, tired and hungry. There. This is the last hole. I'm last trying, hole. I'm trying. Four fifty. What's your I got, score right now? I don't know, man. I don't know. Just look, just look at your wrist. Uh strokes one round plus nine. Whatever the fuck that means, I don't know. You know me, I always but suck at this. You're nine, nine over par. You, I'm five over par. There you go. You always kick my ass in every fucking every time we play this game. Look at that, perfect. Very pretty. Yeah, this uh, this is a very hole in strange, one. Hole in one. This is a very strange. Um, course I liked it very very I'm nice have to look up how we were supposed to play that last one Hole 17. Jesus terrible fucking hits 
Terrible. There you go. There it is. So just a side note, since I'm being fascinated by all these laser beams. Um, the Apple Vision Pro, in my opinion, I could give two shits. Ooh, look at that. Next to the winner, I got a little crown. There you go. Not bad. Oh, well, look at that. So again, the Apple Vision Pro, I don't give two shits. I've seen reviews, I've seen videos, I don't fucking care. Because again, I think the biggest strength of virtual reality is gaming. And that is something yeah. that you can't do I don't want to do anything else with it. I, I don't want to check my email, I don't want to FaceTime with people. I don't see why any of that is an advantage. I just want to play games in VR. I don't want to do I don't want to do fucking homework in VR or whatever the hell else. I agree. Nice. So, to recap, I'm going to go sit down and pull up the poster graphics again. And I completely agree. I I don't know. I mean, I do enough productivity on a computer to last a lifetime. I don't want to put a headset on and do the same fucking thing. I would probably lose my mind if I was doing all my productivity with this headset on. Right. So anyway, here here's the two graphics. You can't see them, but Brain Scan and Lisa, that's the two movies that we talked about the most. They're fun. Anyway, uh, what were we going to say, Stacy? Um just that this uh, course looks so cool. Yeah, this is <laughs> this this Meow Wolf this Meow Wolf thing was definitely very very cool. I enjoyed it yeah. quite a bit. All right, so um, this live stream is how long? I don't even know. Almost an hour. Cool. So we got like a full hour in. That was dope. Beautiful course. A little confusing, the holes, but I really enjoyed this. Me too. That was a nice vibe. So thanks for hanging with us. Uh, again, I know it's like almost 5 in the morning, uh, New York time. But... You know, if you happen to see this, if you happen to check in, we can never see the chat window, even though no one's ever chatted with us <laughs> from what we could tell. I can never see the chat window in VR. I'll figure that out. I mean, if I ever grow immensely in popularity, I, you know, I will figure out a way to, to show it on my wrist. So just like flip my wrist over and I'm like, hey, there's the chat box. I know there's a way that you can do that. Uh, I just don't know how. But again, I don't think most people watch these too much. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in again. It's fun. I haven't done this shit in forever. And speaking of live streams, I really got to get back to doing these boxing videos. I made about 225 and my goal was to hit 365 from May 2022. And we're now almost in, <laughs> we're in February 2024 and I never got to 365 days. But it would be nice to get back into that. Yeah. You know, Sweet. it's good to it's good to work out. You know. All right. You want you go get some coffee, and I'm gonna play Zelda. There you go. Play some <laughs> Zelda. Uh, she's rocking um, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Good stuff. So yeah, check out those movies. Lots of fun. I'll try to put those in the thumbnail if, if possible. Maybe I'll pull up the graphics right before I. Uh, close out the live stream I'll pull up those graphics so hang on one second Stacy because so I want to just see if I can pick up the thumbnail like that might get you know a little more hits so all right thanks again for hanging with us uh, I'm Chris and this is Stacy and this is dopamine overload and we really appreciate you hanging out and that was a lot of fun talking movies and playing this new course good stuff yes all right all we right. will see, see you, you next time yeah, see you next time. Have a good week and stay safe and healthy. Uh, I love you and I'll see you soon. All right. How do I do this? Stop. There we go. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay.